Now imagine an application on your Fire Stick or Nvidia Shield that would scan all of the installed applications on your device. It would then aggregate all of those updates available from all of the different application stores and give you direct one click access to update all of them. On top of that, this application doesn't need any mouse toggle. It works on all of your Android devices. And I really do think this is going to be a game changer when it comes to updating your application. So do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to get this application onto your Android device, make sure you have the option to install applications from unknown sources enabled. Once you've done that, and let's now open up Downloader because we're going to make a connection to my website to download this application. Now, as we know, the address for my website is just http colon forward slash forward slash bit dot ly forward slash tduk. That's me and the numbers 2019. Let's type that in and click on go or just press the play button on your remote. Now, when you get to my website, you want to access the tutorial section, which is inside the hamburger menu. Let's click on that now and let's click on tutorials. Now the latest tutorial in the list will be how we can use this all-in-one APK updating application to update all of the applications on our device. Now, if for whatever reason you don't see the latest tutorial in the list, all you need to do is press the context key on your remote and just select the option, disable JavaScript and reload page. And this will then force a refresh of the page. Once the page is reloaded, press the context key again and just select enable JavaScript and reload page. And the reason for that is, is we do want to leave JavaScript enabled. Okay, once you've done that, let's now open up the latest tutorial. And here it is. So the application in question is called APK Updater. And as we can see, it's an open source application and this aggregates updates from APK Mirror, from Aptoid TV, from Fdroid, and even from the official Google Play stores. So it doesn't matter where you install the application from, whether you installed it from my website, somebody's file link store, wherever the application is installed from, you can actually go off and find the update for it. Let's scroll down and here are some of the great features. You can even configure this application to automatically go off and check to see, are there any updates for your installed applications? Now this automatic check can happen, you know, every 24 hours or every couple of hours, however you like it, you can configure this application. Now we can see here that it does support Android 4 up to Android 10. So that means even on older Android boxes or even the second generation Fire TV stick, this application should work absolutely fine. And because it supports Android TV, we can use all of it without using any kind of virtual mouse. Let's scroll down. And here is a link to the application. Now, once this video goes live, I will actually move this link to the bottom because I want to make sure you guys read the steps before you actually get to the application because lots of the common questions that you guys have are actually answered in the tutorial. Okay, let's click on this here now. Let's scroll down and click on the green download button. Here it is. Let's click on that and click on install. That's now all done. Let's click on done. Let's press the home key and let's now open up the application for the first time. Okay, so when you start the application for the first time, the first thing the application does, it does a complete scan of your application's library and then shows you these all of the applications that have been installed. And we can see guys on my device, I do have you know lots of things installed. And some of these we can see, for example, I got from uh, my website, others are from the official uh, Amazon App Store, uh, some are straight from people's websites and so on and so forth. So once again, it doesn't matter where these applications were installed from, this will show you all of them in your library. Let's click on settings. Now, let me just take this opportunity to say a massive thanks to all of the new members of my channel. Your support really does mean a lot. And if any of you guys want to sign up, I'm doing a special promotion for the first 100 members, whereby all of you can join my private chat group. And in this chat group, we can talk about stuff, we can provide support to each other, and we can even share our APKs. So some of those applications, some of those toolboxes I'm working on, you guys can get early access access to them. So if that sounds of interest to you, do have a look out for the join button. Thank you. Okay, so the first thing we can change in the settings is if you want to change the theme. So I actually think the dark orange looks quite nice, but for example, we can go to light blue or dark green. Maybe if you're doing this on Nvidia Shield 
Uh, let's just leave it as dark orange for now. Then we have the frequency on when to check for updates. So we can see by default it's set to daily. Let's click on that. So we can change that to weekly, hourly, every 12 hours or never. Uh, I'll leave mine as daily for now. And here we see the update sources. So we have the sources as APK Mirror, Aptoid, F-Droid and Google Play. Now a key warning here guys, if you are doing this on an Amazon device like the Fire Stick, now the update files for these three libraries are automatically pulled, which means if you click on one of these options, the APK will come directly down and you can then install it. With APK Mirror, it actually opens up the website. Now on a typical Android box or even the Nvidia Shield, as long as your browser supports downloading, you can leave that option enabled. But in my case, because I'm doing this on a Fire Stick, I'm gonna turn this option off. So now I have three libraries where I can then pull updates from. Let's scroll down. So by default, it's not going to update any of your system applications. And also you have the option to exclude disabled apps. And I'll explain that in just a second. Now this is the key option here guys, and it says exclude applications installed from an app store. So in my case, because I'm doing this on an Amazon Fire Stick, now what that means is any application that I installed from the Amazon App Store, like for example, Downloader, this is going to be excluded from the list because if there is an update to the application, I can just get it straight from the Amazon App Store. There's no point in me looking in other app stores, I can just get it directly from the source. So I'll leave the option enabled and we can leave these three options as enabled. Now, if you do have root on your device, if you maybe rooted your shield, or maybe if you're doing this on a standard Android box, you can turn this on. And what that means is it'll install that update for you. You won't actually see any prompt when it's doing that. But again, because I'm doing this on my Fire Stick, I'm gonna leave that as is. Okay, so let's go back into applications. So here, for example, if I scroll down, and here, for example, we can see Chromium. So let's say I really like this version. I don't want to change it. I can click on that and add that into my ignore list. So that basically means it's never going to scan that and show me any updates for it. Okay, but let's now go to updates. And here we can just see guys in the update section, it's found newer versions for all of these applications. So for example, this Dangbe Assistant, which is a great cleaning application, we can see I'm running version 2.6.5, but it's actually a much newer version, which is 2.9.4. Now the yellow icon underneath the application tells you which library the actual update is going to come from. And we can see in this example, it's going to come from Aptoid. So if I now click on install, I can click on that. And that's now going to pull the application update directly to my device and give me the option to install it. So I can now click on install. And just like that guys, we're now updating this application all from a single application. So let's keep going down. Here, for example, we can see I'm running a very old version of file linked. Again, I can click on install and I'll go off and pull the update directly from Aptoid. Click on install. Let's keep going down. Now, this is a great example because we can see this application is running version 18.5, but there's an 18.7 out there. And this update is actually available on the official Play Store. So if I now click on install, so that application update binaries or those application files for the update are now actually being pulled directly from the Google Play Store onto my device. Let's see if that actually works. Click on install. And just like that, guys, we've now updated this application directly from the Play Store because you have to appreciate that if you're installing applications from different sources, like my website, for example, or different websites or from people's file link stores, if you have installed applications from so many different sources, how do you know there's actually an update available? You'll have to go back to all of those sources manually and just see if there's any update available. Whereas with this application, it does all of the legwork for you. It scans all of those application libraries and just tells you if there is any update and if there is, you can now install that with one click. So definitely do give a thumbs up for that. Let's scroll down. I mean, you see guys, pretty much every application I've installed from all over the place, I can now just click on that and get an update for it. And the last test we can see here, we have Task Killer. I'm running version 1.1.95 and there's a much newer version out there. I click on install. That should then pull the update from Aptoid. Give me the option to install it. And just like that, that's now being installed onto my device without any issues whatsoever. And we can see at the bottom here, we now have 39 updates. Whereas when we started this process, we had over 44 or so. So 
That's all for this video guys, many thanks for watching, I really do think this application is a game changer, much like Farlink was when it first came out because it just made the process of installing applications so much easier, we now have this application which will make the process of updating all of our applications so much easier. So if you did find this video useful guys, do give it a thumbs up, do let me know in the comments below what you think and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon, thanks.